Oh my god, it's spicy. My haters, does anybody want the business on the other end of these fists? I did it! <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal! <laughs> I know you're thinking one of two things. One, how is he even further than he normally is from the kitchen? Or two, oh my god, he's blending in with the wall. Oh, let me answer them both. One, yes. I am in New Zealand and this is my room for the next few months and I really like it. I actually traveled with a lot of artwork and letters just so I could put it up on the wall. I even got an S for suck. <laughs> and two, duh, if someone comes in and I don't want them to see me, I just do this. But hey, what's up you big babies? It is crazy to be in a new place. I get real nervous when I'm doing videos in other places especially, so I hope this one goes well. But this is my first video in New Zealand, and I thought what better content to look at than your boy Big Ed. Honestly speaking, nah, I didn't really even think I'd talk about him again. But curiosity got the better of me, and I was like, what has he been doing? since 90 Day Fiance. So I looked around the internet and couldn't really find anything. But then I remembered he has his own YouTube channel and not too long ago, he posted another mukbang video. Yes, when this man is not being disgusting with women, he's being disgusting with food. It's like never ending. So I clicked on his channel and I saw the thumbnail in the title. Big Ed destroys the world's biggest burger. It looks like in the thumbnail, he's having the coma. And I was like, ah, you sold me. I have to watch it. So today I'm going to resort you guys to having to watch another great mukbang by Big Ed. Please don't hate me for it. I looked at his most recent video and I realized Big Ed has not changed one bit. He's still the most self-promotional person I've ever seen. There's a video called I Like The View and I'm pretty sure he said that to Luz at some point <sighs> and then turned it into a song. All of the things I, do. I like the view. You do? Yes. You're my best view. Me. You know who's super smart? Elon Musk. And, and you know it would be a great invention for him? If he could create a device that gives you the last 10 seconds of your life back. My god, I didn't think it was going to be that stupid. It's not even worth being on TikTok. That's why he didn't put it up on TikTok. With that being said, we should get into the video. But before we do, while you're at it, do subscribe. Help. Oh my god. Oh, and by the way, if you like the video, then hit the subscribe button. We're growing every day like grass in summer without a lawnmower. And, and uh, uh, um, the, uh, you shouldn't cut the grass because we want it to If you want it to stop, because, just hit subscribe. Uh, like, that's how the subscription fan base grows. And also, if you have any ideas for July, I would love to take some. So hit me up at 16leo underscore on Instagram. All right. <laughs> Big Ed time. Let's go. Bro, he is the most self-promotional dude. Come on, on your transportation. Do you know how they have buses and they have movie posters behind the bus? It would be like if the bus driver painted his face on the side of the bus. He's like, my name's Mark and I drive this bus. It's too much. Oh, need I remind you, this is the dude who has a tattoo off his face on his calf. Muscle, not a cow, like on his calf muscle. He could have probably put it on a cow as well. I don't know. I don't know. I'm utterly terrified. <laughs> what is this Miami Vice intro that we're subjected to? Big Ed loves. Big Ed laughs. Big Ed eats. Big Ed then goes to the bathroom and takes a big shit every day. Does he have a sticker at the back and the front? Really? Come on, man. Did he buy a pack of stickers and he just had too many stickers? He's like, oh, can't put that many stickers on the fridge. And the thing is, it's ironic because his stickers stick to things. He doesn't stick to relationships. So what is the point? I'm going to go eat the biggest burger in the world. Oh my God, he's even got it on his shirt. Look at his shirt, look at his shirt. The black shirt with the black print. <sighs> he's like a YouTuber times 20. He's like if Jake Paul grew up, lost his neck, 
after a fight with like maybe Floyd Mayweather's son and uh, lived to tell the tale. This would be him. Still a self-promotional asshole, the only difference is he's 50 something now. Big Ed is about to eat the biggest burger in the world. I would really like it if this man tried live food or food that could possibly fight back. Big Ed eats live octopus and then the octopus like bitch slaps him eight times with each tentacle, that would be good. Cause this is footage we needed to see, thank you. Yes, definitely. When I watch a mukbanger, I like to see them ordering the food, getting the food, preparing the food, taking out the dishes, and then taking a shit after they eat the food, thanks. <laughs> this is gonna sound so mean. <laughs> the his chin strap is hanging on by a thread, bro. <laughs> it looks like if you just did this, it would just fall out. <laughs> I don't know what's been holding his chin strap up the whole time, but that is amazing. He has a sticker inside of his moped or whatever the hell this piece of shit machinery is. Ah! Does he have stickers on his balls as well? When the girl like pulls his pants down, he's like, Big Ed! How many stickers do you need to prove that you are Big Ed? Big Ed here. I'm at Rudford's in um, San Diego. They've been around since 1949. I'm here to do the, the Big Nick Challenge. <laughs> what is the guy to the right of him staring at? <laughs> Why does he look like he died in a happy coma? Someone injected heroin up his ass or something. He's like, <laughs> he's happy to be alive. The sunlight is shining on his bald head, reflecting back out into the sun. The sun is like, oh, it's getting in my eyes. Um, you guys, why don't you tell me a little bit about your restaurant, the history? It was the first restaurant. Wow. Nick, anything you want to share about the restaurant? Your dad just gave this to you, I guess, right? Yeah. So Nick, you don't do anything with your life, right? Your dad just gave you this restaurant. You have no actual qualifications. You, you don't really do much. What do you have to say to that? Uh, yeah, I, yeah, I do nothing. Thanks a lot. Here goes. I'm going to do the Big Nick challenge. Big Ed, let's make some noise. Will he finish this gigantic burger? Comment below. Oh, Big Ed, you don't want to read the comments. But I will. A 50 year old stuck in the mind of a brainless, unaware teenager. The most unluckiest burger ever. I can see why you need to pay women Just to like date. Just like he destroys people are even sub to him. Yeah, that didn't go too well, did it? Let's do it. <laughs> There's one thing on the menu and it's in big writing and he still walked in like... There's nothing else on the menu, bro. It just says that. So the Big Nick burger consists of a lot of crap. I don't know how American people do this. Maybe it's just me because I'm from Africa. And yeah, I'm gonna pull that car right now. A lot of people don't always have food. But then I look at the Big Nick burger and I'm like, yeah, that's where all the food went. Two pounds of beef, four eggs, four ounces of hash browns, four slices of American cheese, salsa, gravy, four ounces of french fries. And you have to eat all of that in 30 minutes or the burger isn't free. Which leads me to ask the question, how much does it cost? If it's not free, because I guarantee you, if you get an Indian person and they're like, oh, 30 minutes and it's free, I don't care how big it is, they're gonna eat it. If someone told me I had to pay like 70 bucks, but if I ate it in 30 minutes, it was free, I'd be done in 25 minutes and have room. I have Big Nick. I'm just gonna sit here and wait. I didn't eat anything since last night, so we'll. Really, dude? You're eating a five pound burger and the first thing you do is order an iced tea and drink that and fill yourself up? Really? You might as well order like a cheese sandwich. He's like, bro, that five pound burger is taking a while to make. Can you just bring me a cheese sandwich, please? All right. Oh, yeah. oh my God. There we go. There we go. This is America. Guns in my- The only thing un-American about this burger is the french fries he's got there. What is that? That looks like a extra from the movie Alien. That does not look appetizing, at least. If you're gonna make a big cow-like shaped burger, can you at least make it look good? Can you pretty it up, photoshop it? I don't know. That looks like someone threw up a burger and then did it again 10 times and it created this monstrosity. I wouldn't eat that. How do I pick it up? How do you take a bite out of that? Like, where do you start? The middle? 
How, if a bug is this big, do you just like, like a, eat a like corn on the cob or something? That's ridiculous. This dude's toilet is gonna. He's gonna need Mario and Luigi to unclog his toilet when he's done with this. This is not good. So how do I begin? So uh, pretty much when you take your first bite, I'll start the timer. <laughs> I don't know what he's saying. They're just censoring it. Every few minutes, he's like, fuck, fuck, fuck. <laughs> Can you imagine just walking into a diner, seeing a four foot 11 dude with a three foot eight burger, just every now and again being like, fuck, fuck. You think this is the worst case of Tourette's ever? And he takes the world's smallest bite. You have 30 minutes. You take the equivalent of a kitty meal bite in a big burger like that, you're not gonna finish it. I don't even know why I care. I think because someone said 30 minutes are free, the brown part of my brain is like, Oof, we gotta get that free burger, but it's not even gonna happen. <coughs> oh my God, it's spicy. Oh, got a little piece of egg on it. Real talk, have you ever seen someone drink something and be in more pain than Big Ed? Whenever he drinks something, he looks like he's in physical pain. Like he's having some sort of malfunction in his stomach. He's like... <laughs> Pretty good. My first food challenge. That would be the biggest burger I've ever eaten in my life. This is like the size of six burgers. God, the thing is still there. The egg is still there. Egg on his shirt. If he doesn't eat that, he's gonna lose the challenge. You have to eat every part of the burger. He might eat the whole burger in 29 minutes and 59 seconds and miss this little piece of egg and it won't be free. Dude, eat the egg. Do you really have time for this? You really have time for... You got time for that, huh? Dude, we don't have time. I'm trying to help you win. This challenge that has nothing to do with me. I just heard free and I'm just so invested in this. It's like the Shawshank Redemption and your tummy is trying to get out of your body. And please, for the love of God, eat the egg on your shirt. Level one down. Ooh. The news is I've been working out. I'm down like 25 pounds. Yeah, okay, well, the only way you'd lose 25 pounds is if you went to London and lost your wallet, dude. I don't buy it for a second. You look exactly the same. You look like a Spalding basketball come to life. Hey. What? what the hell? Hey. Sir, do you have carpal tunnel? What? What is going on? Do you have arthritis? What, what is going on with this dude? I, he ordered a burger and then he said, hey, and started doing this. I don't know if he's trying to play the piano backwards. I'm not sure what is going on. We need some help. To my haters, does anybody want the business on the other end of these fists? <laughs> please do a boxing match with some other YouTuber. Rice gum, please, 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 for me, for me, for me. I don't know who I want to get knocked out between him and rice gum. Can they do like a double where they both look and then they both knock each other out? Rice gum would have to aim. Anyway, give them the business. I would want to see it so badly. thought I'd see a mukbang montage before. This is like 80s and 2021 at the same time. Wow, it's pretty good actually. Ah, uh, thank you for the napkins. Oh, that was so good. Oh, sir, can I get some more steak? Sure, yeah. Not sure if I was seeing this incorrectly, but during the montage, it seems like he has another plate to the side of him where he discards food. Is this man trying to cheat his own mukbang challenge? Now that is some next level shit. Sugar for my sugar. That, there it is, the classic Big Ed pose, where his neck is retracted back into his face and he's like a seagull just 
inserting things into his mouth from like 90 degree angles. That's the thing that we all paid and came to see. It's like going to a circus and watching the freaks do the freak things. I think that guy needs some tea over there. Yes. Okay. Alright, thanks. Oh, I need an excuse real bad. Hey man, how you how you doing? Uh, I think the guy over there is uh, uh, suffering from asphyxiation. I think you need to give him mouth to mouth right now. <laughs> and he takes a plate of French fries and just puts it to the side of him. This is such a letdown because I actually thought this dude was gonna try and eat a big five pound burger. I honestly thought maybe he could do it. But like halfway through the video, he gives up at that as well. Is there nothing this man doesn't give up trying to do? Do you have to take the easy way out of everything? He took like half the burger. Oh, oh, oops. Can't see it if it's not in right in front of me. Every time someone comes, he's like, yeah. No, this is just how I sit. You want a hug? Well, you well, you can't have one because I'm a full. I gotta eat everything. <laughs> Even the fries? You gotta eat it all. Even the fries? Even the fries. Are you sure I gotta eat all, all the fries? Is that not just for decoration? All the food you put on the plate I have to eat? Do, do I have to eat the plate as well? It's so funny that the stuff that he put to the side actually started growing until you could see it coming out of the chair. It's like sitting there like a little kid. <laughs> you made a little burger kid from the scraps that you didn't eat. Which was 90% of the burger, by the way. You wasted food, and in Africa, if you waste food, you know what happens? <laughs> I start fighting my haters. Oh, Nick, I'm done. Look at my, I set a new world record. <laughs> This was the best. Oh. There's still shit on the plate. What do you, do you know what a challenge is? You have to eat the whole thing. It's a challenge, bro. When people do the 24 hours at Walmart challenge, do you think they don't stay for 24 hours? No. When people do 24 hour hide and seek challenge with my brother, lost, gone wrong, gone sexual. Do you, th do you think there's even one person that is lying about that? No. And when people do 24 hours without eating Gandhi challenge, gone sexual. <laughs> You think they actually do that? YouTube is such a joke sometimes. Oh my god. You yeah. like a, I think you got some stuff left over there. No, that. Wait, what? Where? <laughs> no, that was yeah. the previous owner. I think you have some food there. Nope, that was the previous owner. Off the food? Don't question my logic. I ate all your food. I did it. I did it, you guys! I finished the whole thing! And then Big Ed tries to do the race like Tay K, but he misses because he's Big Ed. How, how fast are you gonna go? It's gonna be like 20 steps before he turns around. Yeah, hey they're calling you back, man. They're... What? I think there's a problem at the table. Okay, I haven't been saying anything, but the Inception sounds are getting <laughs> annoying. Jeez, every time you open a door, you don't have to make the Inception sound. I know life isn't as exciting as a movie, but every time I do this, it doesn't mean the sound should appeal. Uh, what? What happened? This is not my table. I wasn't sitting here. This wasn't my table. It's a testament to how short this man is that his cameraman can do a high angle shot without using anything. Like no equipment, he's just, oh, you want a high angle shot? Okay. <laughs> That's it. Normally you need a crane. <sighs> but as usual, Big Ed cops out and doesn't end up doing the thing that he said he was going to do. Why did I think he was actually going to eat a five pound burger? I was somewhat excited to see this man gulp down a burger like a pelican, but it didn't actually turn out that way. He ate like... I would say 15% of the burger, if that. I just watched a man cop out of a mukbang on his own channel. It's the premium content that I expect from Big Ed. Thanks so much, buddy. If I had to rate this mukbang out of all his mukbangs, I would give it a 1 out of 10. My favorite mukbang still and always will be the McDonald's one, where he looks like he shoved the fries into his mouth and died. All said and done, I honestly would rather see Big Ed in this capacity as opposed to him on 90 Day because at least he's not hurting other people, just himself and the people at the diner. 
who have to look at him. So Big Ed, if this is your career trajectory, if you want to be a mukbanger and look like the father of Nikocado Avocado, do it. You have my blessing. Hopefully you actually eat the next thing. Probably not the only thing you didn't eat, am I right? <laughs> uh, sorry about that. Anyway guys, that was the end of the video and this was my first video in NZ. Hope you liked the background, hope you liked the new camera and the new setup. If there's anything that you'd like to tell me, leave a comment down below. Please do smash that subscribe button, I would love it if you did. Take care of yourselves and until then... Fluffs? Oh my god! <laughs> Looks like you had a hard flight! If I die... If Fluffster dies, then man, everybody's gonna be crying. We all gonna be sad. She ain't even got